Hey guys, this is K0MRD, your radio prepper, and I am here. I finally got my two meter emergency go box finished. And this is the intro to the video. Not too long ago, uh, there was a F3 tornado hit my town, which is a bit more frightening than it sounds, but it's neither here nor there. There was some property damage from the twister, however, my home, my home and the immediate area were more or less undamaged. While the storm was happening, my wife and our two cats were in our safe room, and I was acting as a storm spotter while maintaining radio communication on my local repeater until we lost power. At that point, my main 2 meter radio instantly turned into a glorified paperweight but I still needed to maintain communication into the repeater so I can pass along uh, information on the storm as it, as it was happening around me. So I grabbed my, my Bofang UV5R, hooked it up to the uh, mag mount antenna that I have in my shack inside, and I was able to communicate effectively through the storm. All right, there was some static, but it was still I was still able to do that. After the storm had passed, I got to thinking uh, that I need an emergency kit just in case this type of situation happened again. And I, in the end, I decided I needed to build one. First thing I needed was a plan. The requirements had to be simple, had to be self-contained, had to be weatherproof and it had to have enough power for my amp and my radio should I need it. The items I had on hand were a 50 cal ammo can, that's the basics for the kit, my 2 meter amp, my UV82, a jumper from the amp to the radio and to the antenna, but I needed a power panel and a 12 volt 5 to 12 amp hour battery just so I can you know, keep the power on the amp. The last two I got on Amazon and I'll put a link in the description below. Alright. With all that my 2 meter emergency communication go box was born. The hardest part was to figure out how to mount the quad outlet panel in the ammo can since there are no interior lips on those things and nothing to screw it into. I came up with a solution. I was in one of the big home improvement stores, you know, the orange one, not the blue one, and I saw a 4 inch by 4 inch by 4 inch junction box that would work perfectly. And it would keep the modularity that I had sought for this project. I fitted all the components of the kit together and to my surprise it all fit as if it were made for this project. And to keep each component in place since I didn't want to compromise the integrity of the ammo can, I used industrial strength hook and loop fastener. You know that black stuff that makes a sound when you separate it? Starts with a V. I can't go into it. I can't say the name but you know what I mean. And I attached it to the components themselves and the inner wall of the ammo can. In a few minutes I'm going to show you exactly what I did. So hang tight, be safe, and stay tuned. This is the power panel I have for my box. It is cigarette lighter, USB, on off, and voltage meter. All right. I have to con this is the wiring I had to figure out how to put this into here. 50 cal or 50 caliber ammo can with no lip. This is my battery. My solution: 4x4 four four junction box. It fits perfectly. I had to drill extra holes here and here because it was just short. Here is my power panel in my junction box. This sits nicely 
in the ammo can. Stay tuned for some more. Here I have the elements of my 2 meter ammo can. First is my power pack. It's a power panel, USB accessory, power switch, multimeter or voltage meter, a 5 hour battery, my Bofeng UV82, and my Radio Shack HT20 2 meter amplifier, as well as the ammo can itself. Inside, I have Velcro on various points that will keep my gear in place. I'll be back to show you what it's like assembled. Here it is assembled, the power panel, the amplifier right there, 5 hour battery. Now, I only chose a 5 hour battery because it's meant for emergency use only and anything longer than five hours would probably be a waste of time anyway so there it is my 50 caliber or my fit my ham ammo can this is k0 mrd mm -hmm.